Okay. Okay, so that should be working now. All right. Hello and welcome to my first trucking YouTube video. My name is Nick, and this is the first installment of... Uh, we're just going to start calling it Trucking Diaries. We're going to be participating in the Hauling Hope uh, event, which is hauling COVID-19 vaccines around the, uh, the country here. We have the... This is a Kenworth T680 in CalArc livery. And we have a slew of mods. We have an engine mod that we're going to be running today. So let's go ahead and um, hop up into the cab and turn it over. Listen to this thing fire up. So for anybody who doesn't know, like I said, we're going to participate in the Hauling Hope. That was weird. Yeah, so we're going to be doing any of these trailers and say Hauling Hope, but I don't want to take a forever long one. I want to take a, a normal one. That would probably take about an hour. do this one and see where we're on our journey. So we're going to be taking COVID-19 vaccines from Grand Junction, Colorado to Price, Utah. So let's go pick up our load. Bet you that air brake warning still going off. Let's do this. What we can do to bring the air brakes up faster in this game is we can put, uh, we can just put a little bit of gas into it. All right, let's go pick up our trailer now. Yeah, it's probably gonna yell at me. That's fine. Once we get moving and the air starts flowing, we'll be okay. So I've got some things in the works and I'll get into more of that after we grab our trailer. There's a delivery that I was expecting today that um, showed up late. So I'll have it, I'll have it for tomorrow. Looks like we just go straight across the road. Also, I have to see if you can see, I have this mod that adds realistic um, companies like that Kraft Heinz truck that's sitting right there, and the Chevron truck sitting right there. Our COVID vaccines right here.
straight as we can. Wrong way. Okay, here we go. That works. So here's, uh, actually I'll pull out so it's easier to see. So here's what the Hauling Hope trailers look like. these white refrigerated trailers that say hauling hope on them and a couple of hands I keep forgetting I have it mapped on the wheel here So one of the things I ordered, and it, I was going to get it today, but um, it showed up it showed up late, so I'll have it tomorrow, was um, the shifter that comes with the G29. <laughs> Excuse me. And then one of the things I ordered that goes on top of that was the um, it's a Simu uh, shifter that goes on top of the the Logitech shifter, you you take the little the medallion off, and then there's a screw in there, and then you just um, you take the ball off, and then you just anchor this other thing down, and it it uh, turns your the one I got is going to turn my Logitech shifter into an Eaton full and eighteen Eaton Eaton full or eighteen speed. So I'll be able to drive. Um, I'll be able to drive an actual manual. Because right now I'm just driving this truck as an automatic. In real life, this truck is an automatic, but <coughs> I think it'd be fun to drive it as a manual. to try and bring this series once a week. I'll, I'll probably wind up recording it earlier in the week, like I'm recording this on a Thursday. So I'll probably wind up recording it earlier in the week and then posting it on the weekends. And my goal for this series is I'm just going to take deliveries and, and just talk. Talk about anything except for we'll stay away from politics. This modded, uh, this modded engine is something I really like. It sounds really good. When we get out onto the highway, we'll just listen to it wind up as we build up our speed.
this mod. It sounds incredible. Especially that Jake break. We wind up weighing 77,113 gross. I really love the sound of this mod. The author did really good on it. You can find this one in the Steam Workshop. Just look for um, just look for the Cummins N14 mods, and it'll be one of the most recent ones. There's also the Cummins N14 Lope, which actually sounds really good too. leaving Colorado, and then we're coming into Utah. Now one of the things that sucks about these um, these World of Trucks contracts is I'm throttled at 65 miles an hour. So the speed limit's 80 right here, but I can only do 65. Costco truck jackknife. Sucks for them. Speaking of trucks and game, I saw a rumor that Swift was going to be coming to the game. I think that might be kind of cool. I don't know if it's going to be... I, I don't know exactly what they're going to be trying to do with it. I'm almost hoping it's... I, I got a feeling Swift is going to be an ownable trailer, which in that case I hope that they add... Um, I hope that they add trucks for it. I hope that they add the paint schemes for trucks, because that would be cool to deck your truck out to look like a Swift truck. The truck I'm driving now with this Calark livery, I do have a Calark trailer. But I'm doing these um, World of Truck contracts for right now. At least until the, this event's over. I only have to take seven loads, and then I'll get a, uh, a medallion that I can hang. It's just called, it just says Hauling Hope on it, which is actually kind of cool. This event, this whole event's kind of cool. So it's not, there's no like community goal or anything like that. It's just, for us, us uh, simulation gamers, it's, it makes us feel like we're making a difference. Something you guys may not know about me, anybody that views this video, is uh, I'm actually legally blind. So I think you'll find that fascinating on just how well I'm able to do this when I actually can't see very well. That right there that you heard, that's the uh, retarder for this 18 speed. So once I get uh, once I hit, I have a cruise control set at 65. So once I hit 68, the retarder will kick in. And then I do use skilled parking, so it might take me longer to um, to back in. These nice little, these two little two-lane roads are actually a lot of fun to drive on. So here in the next few months, I'm going to be building myself, I'm going to be trying to build myself a, uh, we'll just call it a dream. It's not necessarily my dream, it's just going to make things easier. Uh, my dream office slash bedroom. I don't understand why the AI traffic has to slam on the brakes.
I've never understood that. They, they, when they hit the brakes, they just get up on them. I imagine, I think that trailer has cows in it, I imagine they'd be all over the place with the way that guy's driving. We're gonna lose a bunch of speed coming up this hill. This vaccine weighs 48,000. Imagine the drivers that are hauling this in real life. It's got it, there's got to be some sense of pride and honor amongst them to be doing this. Oh, that lane ends. If I were in their shoes, I would definitely be honored to be hauling this this load. delivery. Jake right now, but uh, most towns there are no Jake break zones, just because they're loud. We're in the town of Price, and we can go red on red here. One of the caveats to this um, to this event is you have to bring your loads in undamaged. So you really have to pay attention how you're driving. Finally, we are I think we go over here. see the door and then I correct and I come at it like this. Pull straight. We're gonna make an attempt. We're gonna try a um trucks, that's right.
Uh-oh, we messed this up. Okay, let's try and strike one more time. Get back under it. Come on, baby. We could fix that. Yeah, we did. I'd say that's pretty good. So we're neutral. Set the parking brake. Let's go ahead and drop this off and see where we are on time. minutes uh, let's take one more I'm only on one monitor so I have to alt tab out every time that'll be changing too oh I think I'm in the wrong Oh, no, I'm not. Can we get any COVID vaccines out of here? Uh oh.
Oh, this is interesting. It doesn't look like we're gonna get any COVID vaccines out of here. But that's gonna be okay. We'll take a um We'll take a short haul if we have to then. A lot of oversized. Where's this Walmart trailer gonna go? Back to Grand Junction? Ah, we don't need to go the same route again. Let's just take let's take this one over to this next city, and then for the next uh, next video, we'll try and get some COVID vaccines. It's really hoping that I could get another uh, vaccine out of it, but that's okay. Drive safe. I really love how that fires up. When I get that shifter tomorrow, I'm gonna have to learn it because I don't I actually don't know how to drive clutch, so it's gonna be a learning process. I'm excited for it. for it I actually have never actually I've never actually driven a clutch so it's gonna be fun the whole thing's gonna be a learning process <laughs> semi-trucks and uh, when I do these trucking diary videos it's not just gonna be American truck I might mix some Euro truck in gets up and goes as a bobtail.
now I realize I'm actually quite quite far away from the limit line, but that's so I can see the light. Because I've set up a little higher so I can see my gas gauge. picture Dole as having more of a, a warehouse, not a farm. on our trailer. I see there's a decal on it. Oh, because it's a dole trailer, duh. Now, this isn't a hauling hope load, but it's a load that'll hopefully get us put in the right direction over to the next town. Just pretend that we got dispatched for this. If you can hear that rattling around, that's my steering wheel with its force feedback. Oh, we're turning right. I'm brand new to, um, to streaming content and recording content, so if it doesn't sound like I have a whole lot to talk about, I do apologize. I'll get better at it as time goes on. Keep right, and then continue straight on. Go straight on. I actually can't see that light. that we're hauling is going to be it's going to be fruits and it's light it's 28,000 it explains why 
I'm able to accelerate so fast. know something in the comments. I want to know what makes you happy in life. Like, what's your... What's that one thing that makes you feel at home? I have to say mine would be playing these truck driving sims. I've always, always wanted to be a truck driver, but I can't because of my eyesight. I think that'd be my one thing that would make me happy. But yeah, what would make you happy? I look forward to reading your comments. When I first found out this game was going to come out in 2016, I was like, oh, it's just another truck driving sim. And then I picked it up just to, just because it was something to play. And I just, I fell in love with it. I have close to, it's not a whole lot over four years, but I have close to a thousand hours poured into this game. I think we're on Highway 6 going towards 70. people will be pretty impressed if they figure out I'm legally blind and I can actually drive this decently. I think that's just something super relaxing about um, just driving a semi-truck in general. I've never done it in real life, obviously, but in this I feel super comfortable just, just cruising. This is my zen. Like, we're doing 60 miles an hour down a two-lane highway and I'm at peace and out in the desert. Some people like to drink and do stuff like that, but that's not for me. I, I drink occasionally, but not a whole lot. That's not my happy place. Also, I've always wanted to be a truck driver, so... around this corner. I do play this online too. There is an online client. It's called Truckers MP or MP, not NP. But a lot of all of that is it's just a lot of most of the time it's just people flying down the road at 80. It doesn't seem authentic. 
I try to bring it as close to realism as possible. Now, like I said before, it sucks that we're governed at 65 with these loads, but in real life, there are some trucks that are, uh, some companies like Prime Logistics is one of them. They govern their trucks at 63. There's other truck drivers, or other trucks that govern at like 66. It's, it just, it just depends on the company. content I'm gonna do it once a week for a little while and then let me know in the comments uh, if this if this is something you want to see or if this even works this just allows me to do something that I couldn't normally do in real life So I think for temporarily I'm going to have to switch to a six speed transmission, which I don't think anybody ever uses in a semi, so that's going to be weird. Keep left. I don't think you turn left from the suicide lane, so I'm going to turn left from the left lane. Get your brakes. That's my fault. I didn't see him, he kind of blended in. This one was hit and run. Get ready to right. I think this is going to make us back into a door.
we can't, because we can't pull through there. We're a semi truck, we're too big. So we're gonna try a near side reverse. Over the years, I've gotten quite a bit better at reversing these trailers. It used to be that I couldn't. I couldn't reverse these to save my life. But now I've gotten way better at it. For the moment, we're just kind of letting it pull us. I think we're going to be able to cut this right. I think we're going to, yep, we're going to curve it. So I need to pull forward. And we'll just go ahead and try it again. So basically where that van is, I need to be have my back tires by it. Because I have to cut this corner. And I don't want to hit that post. I still screwed it up. That's why I keep screwing up. I keep looking at the wrong spot. This time I think we got it. red fire hydrant line there. Keep going on the corner by the bush. And then when we get to it, we need to cut it hard. Basically, we're just trying to back around the building. So I need to come start and straighten it out just a little bit. See where we are. Okay. Start our turn. Not too hard though, or we're gonna clip this truck. And then what we'll 
do as well. Get it almost jackknifed and then start cutting it. How are we looking? didn't need to um, try and wrap around the building, but with these trailer trailers I've learned that less is more but with that being said I still have to clear things
thought it, that's not where I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty close. crooked, but I think it's going to be the best we're going to get. I think that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content. Also, I have a ch Twitch channel. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. So don't forget to give me a follow on that if you like, or at least check it out. Uh, it's around, I stream right around 8.30 p.m. on those days. Again, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, right around 8.30. Uh, this video, when this video goes live, the next Twitch stream will be Rocket League, so that should be Monday. Uh, I hope you all have a great night, or evening, or day, or whenever you're watching this. Stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, do your best to stay beautiful.